I want to find out where these two lines intersect, or indeed whether they intersect. The way I've drawn it, it looks like they intersect, right? But they might not. If you hold two pens, one in each hand, and hold them away from you, away from your face, and but hold the red one further away than the blue one, and then look at it, it looks like they're crossing, but obviously they're not. They're not actually intersecting because they're not touching each other. So from two-dimensional point of view, it looks like these two are intersecting, but I need to be careful to check whether they actually are or not. So the red line. We know that to get to the red line, to get to the car park, we do 3, 8, minus 2, and then the direction of the line is 2, minus 1, 3. So what does that look like? It's, it means that we go across here. So this is the car park for the red line, and then we go like this, car park to squirrel, car park to squirrel, car park to squirrel, and each of those is 2 minus 1, 3. Now from my picture, it looks like if I do about 2.7 lambdas, lambda is 2.7-ish, as 1, 2, 2 and a bit, then I'll reach this intersection point here. What about the blue line? The blue line, to get to it, we do... 7, 4, 3, 7, 4, 3, and then this is its direction vector, 2, 1, 4. So from my picture that I've drawn, that I made up, it looks like I would need mu, the number of times I do this direction vector, to be 1, 2, 3, 4, about minus 4-ish. Mu is about minus 4. So according to my picture, which is obviously just completely made up, you can see that if I start at the origin, hopefully you can see, and do 7, 4, 3, and then do minus 4, reverse, 4 direction vectors, I'll end up at this intersection point. Or if I start at the origin and do 3, 8, minus 2, and then do 2.7 of the red direction vector, then I will also end up here. So my aim is to find out what this it's not very straight line, sorry. What this point here is, if indeed it even exists, because it might be that the red line is just closer to me than the blue line, so whilst it looks like they're crossing, actually if I went around the side of the iPad, I'd see that they actually weren't touching each other. Okay, how am I going to solve this problem? I'm going to solve it using algebra. I'm going to say line 1, 3, 8, minus 2, plus any amount I like of 2 minus 1, 3, needs to be equal to the blue line. 7, 4, 3, plus any amount, different amount probably, of 2, 1, 4. OK, let's take the top line equal to the top line and the middle line equal to the middle line and the bottom line equal to the bottom line. 3 plus 2 lambda has to equal 7 plus 2 mu. 8 minus lambda has to equal 4 plus mu. And minus 2 plus 3 lambda has to equal 3 plus 4 mu. Simultaneous equations. Let's take any two and solve them. Let's take these two. OK. So, um, I'm going to take the second one and rearrange it to say mu equals 4 minus lambda equals mu. Then I'm going to put that into the first one. 3 plus 2 lambda equals 7 plus 2 mu. Substituted that in. So, I'm using number 1 and number 2. Let's not forget about number 3 here. Let's solve this equation. We get 3 plus 2 lambda equals 7 plus 8 minus 2 lambda. So 4 lambda is uh, 15 to 12. And then lambda is 3. What did I guess it was? 2.7. That is pretty good. 3. OK, what about mu? Mu is 4 minus 3. Oh, well, that's, I wasn't anywhere even close with that one, was I? Turns out the ve direction vector of mu looks more like this. So only doing it once gets you bang on that green point there. Good. So have I established what the coordinates of the green dot are? No, I haven't. That's still a job to do. I'll do that now. I'll do it in green since it's a green dot. So how would I get to the green dot? I could use the red line and do 3, 8, minus 2 plus lambda, which I've worked out is 3, three amounts of 2 minus 1, 3. That gives me 3 plus 6, 8 minus 3, and minus 2 plus 9, which is 9, 5, 7. Or I could get there using the blue line. I could do 7, 4, 3, 
plus mu, which is 1, 1 lot of 2, 1, 4, and that gets me 7 plus 2, 4 plus 1, 3 plus 4, which is 9, 5, 7. Good, same, excellent, otherwise I've gone wrong. So I found the coordinates of the green point, fantastic, but how do I know whether or not these are actually intersecting? Whether if I go round the side of this picture, I would see that there's actually a gap between the red line and the blue line in three dimensions. Well, that's what I need my uh, third equation for. And it's really important to remember this, that you need to check that third equation. Otherwise, you don't know whether or not they're actually intersecting. So let's see what happens if we take our lambda is 3, minus 2 plus 3, lots of 3. And that gives us minus 2 plus 9, which is 7. Does that work for the other side of the equation? Mu, I know I need to be 1. 3 plus 4 lots of 1 is 3 plus 4. Yay, 7. So they do intersect. They intersect because all three equations are the same when lambda is 3 and mu is minus 1. And they intersect at the coordinate 9, 5, 7.